Today, CVS launched the expansion of its safe drug disposal program. CVS's area vice president is holding a news conference at the DuPont Circle CVS. He'll be joined by D.C.'s attorney general and also the police chief. For the first time, you'll be able to bring unused medications to select CVS locations around the Washington area. The medication will be disposed of in a safe and what the company says is an environmentally friendly manner. Unnecessary C-sections carry health risks for both the mother and the child. And in 2014, Virginia Hospital Center and Inova Fairfax Hospital made Consumer Reports list of the highest C-section rates in the country. Which is not exactly a good thing, and it's another reason that the VHC has begun a campaign to try and lower its C-section rate. And we're joined by one of the physicians responsible for that campaign. Dr. Michael Moxley is the uh, Vice Chief Medical Officer of Hospital Services at the Virginia Hospital Center. And he's also an obstetrician and a gynecologist. So this is something that, that comes very close to, to your, your specialty. How much of a problem, and I use that term advisedly because it's not necessarily a medical problem, but it is an issue. How big an issue is it uh, in the Washington area? So um, unnecessary cesareans are uh, generally a problem because it's a major surgery. And so anything that we can do to safely reduce that C-section rate is going to be a good thing. All right, so, so the rates were high in 2014. We're almost to 2018 now. Have, has there been improvement made? Yes, there has. At Virginia Hospital Center, we actually implemented some guidelines by our governing bodies to do things to reduce the cesarean rate. For example, we uh, gave people more time and labor just to uh, deliver naturally. We also encouraged the use of doulas and midwives, um, alternative practices that way. And um, we also looked at the um, uh, individual um, rates of, of cesarean birth, but basically we gave people more time. But most importantly, we got the patients involved. It, it was very patient-centered, and we wanted to explain to them we were going to do what was best for them. I sometimes think that, that this is a symptom of sort of where we live, too. We're very scheduled. We try and do things on our own terms as much as we possibly can. And I have to think that in some cases, uh, these were families that said, you know, it sure would be great if this baby could come on Thursday instead of maybe having to wait until Saturday or Sunday or something like that. Why don't we just go ahead and schedule a cesarean? Well, that's one thing. Nature's been pretty good at delivering babies for a long time. Maybe we need to give nature a little bit of a, a break here and, and, and just let it happen the way it's supposed to. Right. I agree with you. And honestly, patients are starting to agree with that as well. I do think there was a time where people would like to have control over mm -hmm. when they delivered, how they delivered. But at the end of the day, it really is what is best for the patient, what is best for mom. One of the you know, statistics that really stood out for us was you know, that first cesarean. If you have one cesarean, you have about a 90% chance mm -hmm. of having a repeat cesarean mm -hmm. no matter what. And if you have a vaginal birth for the first delivery, you have a 90% chance of having a vaginal birth. So with that statistic in mind, with that guideline in mind, um, Virginia Hospital Center really wanted to encourage people to weigh the options of cesarean c-section versus vaginal birth and you're seeing now most people are really opting for the vaginal birth if mm -hmm. it's safe mm -hmm. so if a, a woman's in the hospital and uh starting her labor and you say allowing more time for the delivery to happen naturally how much time are we talking about so um, I guess it differs. It, it does. And uh, the average first labor is somewhere, you know, between 18 and 24 hours. Um, we can lengthen those stages, you know, those phases of labor. Um, as long as the fetus is not in distress. Right? That's exactly right. Yes. Um, uh, there comes a point where, you know, th th too long, you, you can wait too long. But it, in, it, we know that based on current data being 2014 and, and, and beyond that we can actually allow people more time in those various stages than we did previously. We talk about this sometimes in, in kind of a very clinical setting too but you mentioned something earlier the use of doulas the the the, the people who are kind of uh, patient and if you will baby advocates in this whole thing the ones who who get a chance to sort of look at the whole situation and say here's where we are in this thing and here's maybe what we ought to do how important is that? 
Well, I think it's very important. And again, it goes back to the patient. And if the patient prefers to have a doula with them, we are happy to work with them in, in that. And same with a midwife. And, um, and that's and, a change, too, in a lot of hospitals, isn't it? Yes, sir. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right, working to bring the C-section rate down. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Michael Moxley, Chief Medical Officer at the Virginia Hospital Center. Thank Good you for having me. Good to see you today. Thanks, doctor. So, could